In our previous four tutorials, we've covered entering basic data about our farm in general, production, stock and pasture tabs. Now it's time to move on to feeding. Click feeding on the left hand side of the screen. When you begin using the feed planning section, the numbers don't make a lot of sense. We have to do some work here to make a sensible budget. Remember, for this example, we have 400 milking cows and 150 calves and yearlings to feed. We've set up the spreadsheet so that Maestro calculates the amount of grain you'd need to feed your milking cows in order to fill any feed deficits. This is shown as a red number at the top of the section. You'll note we've not set the maximum level of grain. If you remember back in general, we set it to a high number like 50. In this example, your cows would need a whacking 13.5 kilos per day of grain in November. That's because we haven't allocated any supplementary feed to any other classes of stock, and we've not specified the use of any nitrogen fertiliser. This is obviously not a practical solution, and the red boxes at the bottom of the cow section show that the diet for the milkers is unbalanced and could cause problems. Red boxes indicate a problem, and your budget won't work while you have red boxes. The spreadsheet works by allocating all the available pasture firstly to the dry stock and the remaining pasture is then available for the milkers. At this stage in this example you can see that the calves require 4.2 kilos of pasture and the yearlings 7.9. If you feed all this pasture to your replacements you've only got 3.7 kilos of pasture available for your milking cows. That's why they need 13.5 kilos of grain. The first and cheapest option on most farms to rectify this problem would be to add some nitrogen fertilizer into the system. With 60 hectares of irrigation, let's try adding 3.6 tonnes of nitrogen in November. To do this, click on Purchasing, and we now display our nitrogen purchases. We're going to add 3.6 in November. Now let's go back to feeding. You can see the pasture requirements for the young stock remain unchanged, but the pasture available for the milking cows is now 6.1 kilos per day. As a result, the amount of grain they require has dropped to 11.2. We've still got a way to go because we don't wish to feed more than 7 kilos a day on this farm. We're going to need to feed different supplements to the milkers, or we can supplementary feed some young stock. In this example, we're going to feed the young stock some grain during November. The yearlings can get 2 kilos and the calves can get one kilo. By feeding some grain to the young stock, the amount of pasture they require declines. This increases the amount of pasture available for the milkers, but they still require 10.1 kilos of grain. Let's add a kilo of hay to the calves and yearlings and leave it at that. We don't want to feed any more to the young stock. To reduce the grain requirement of the milkers, we now need to feed them some other supplements. This is necessary because the NDF levels are showing a red problem. We'll add 4 kilos of hay to the milkers. This has fixed our red problem. You could choose to add hay or silage depending on your protein needs. You would add silage if you had a protein red box. OK, we've now got a ration for November which uses the feeds we have available in November. And it meets the requirements of all classes of stock. The process now needs to be repeated for every month. If you add too much supplement for a class of stock, the pasture intake figure will become negative and the box will turn red. Let's try putting something silly like 20 kilos in our calves. See the problem? all these red boxes. If you feed too much supplement to your stock in a particular month but their pasture intake is still sensible, you may have a sensible ration but you'll generate a pasture surplus. This is shown in the row at the bottom. It's not very sensible to generate pasture surpluses. So if you see surpluses present, you should reduce the amount of supplement you're feeding. Using the budget in this way, your aim is to have a balanced ration for each class of stock. That's no red boxes and no pasture surpluses present. The row just above the pasture conserved 
shows any additional grain that's required to be fed, which cannot be fed to your milkers. That is, the feed deficit that remains in your budget. Using the spreadsheet as we have up till now, we've left zeros in this row. However, if we set a maximum grain level to be fed, this row comes into play. Our cows currently require 6.7 kilos of grain. If we change the maximum amount of grain that can be fed per milker to 5, which is back in our general tab, and now go back to our feeding tab, you'll notice our grain pallets has changed to 5, but we've created at the bottom 21 tonnes of grain equivalent that needs to be fed to other stock. The aim in using the budget should, to be, should be to ensure that this row remains at zero. As you're completing your budget, you can check the total tonnages of the different feeds you require at the bottom of the screen. That wraps up the feeding tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll cover purchasing in more detail.